Hey there, Mission Control. Thanks for joining me today. I wanna to talk to you about indoor growing or indoor farming. To make it really simple, it seems like there's two real categories of people who look at indoor growing. There's ones who are like, it's gonna save everybody, it's gonna be amazing, uh, and we're gonna use all this technology to help people out. And then there's the uh, traditionalist who's like, indoor growing isn't sustainable, you can't do it, it's not going to work. Having co-founded a company where we do kind of a hybrid of indoor growing, but using more traditional methodologies or really not going large scale, I've had to face both of these questions about our company that is Eating Grow Systems. When we look at the large scale indoor farming technology users, what we usually think of is some Silicon Valley person who has a really great idea, heavy on robotics, heavy on software, requiring a lot of technology to be able to grow food. We'll see them purchase large industrial buildings and convert them, costing millions and millions of dollars in capital to be able to get their indoor growing solution up and running. All the while they do this because of the technology, they're not looking at the what we call the energy balance equation. They're not sitting there thinking, how much is the HVAC gonna cost? How much are the lighting gonna cost? They don't do that when they first start. Instead, they focus on the technology. Now that's a mistake. And we're seeing that happen in the market. That's why you're seeing indoor grow solutions go out of business left and right. At Eden, we are different. We started with a very fundamental problem. How much energy does it take to grow your food? And can you do that affordably? And the answer is yes. With the Eat and Grow Tower that we've developed, you can definitely grow your food very affordably. In fact, we are the best option on the market for doing at home indoor growing. We're not trying to go take on all these people and tell you why they're horrible. We're just trying to say why we have found something that is different than them. We're not in the same category as they are. I personally think that we need an all the above solution to helping address the food crisis that's upon us. We need every single way of growing food available. But then we have to start thinking, once we start solving that crisis and getting everybody food again, we need to actually start thinking long-term. We need to think about sustainability. And that's where we shift over to more traditional growing methods. Large scale ag, whether it be indoor or outdoor, is just simply not sustainable in the long run. There is only one way that is truly sustainable, and that is a decentralized, small, local scale growing solution. Now, for the traditionalists, where they're going, indoor growing isn't gonna help you, in a sense, they're wrong. A lot of people live in the city. A lot of people don't have access to ground to put food into and grow it themselves. They need a different solution. For people that do have land, I'm 100% behind them growing their own food. We do. Not everybody has that option. So what are we gonna do about them? Just forget them? Just say, well, tough luck for them? And it's not realistic that every single person that can grow food in the ground is just gonna become a farmer. Not in today's world, there's too many other things that we're doing. So we need a hybrid solution. And that's what we've come up with the Eat and Grow systems. The Eat and Grow Tower represents a paradigm shift in how we grow food. It's not this large scale thing that just take over a huge building. And it's not just the small plot of land where you can grow your own food. It is a hybrid in between where you have commercial capabilities in your own home. A lot of people are getting a little disgruntled with what's happening in indoor farming, and rightfully so. They're being sold a bill of goods in a sense. Hey, look at this really cool technology. I've got this robot coming from Sweden or from Japan. You know, it's gonna go through and it's gonna move all these things and do all this and it's gonna have all this and it's gonna be great. It's, you know, no people are gonna be involved. Well, the reality is just like every unmanned system out there, people are always involved. Not only do they not think about the energy, the HVAC up front, but they're so focused on the technology that they also miss the labor requirements. So they have people who have, you know, PhDs and masters or people who are, you know, level four in the trades that have to be able to operate these systems and they can't do it at a low cost. So the only thing that they can do is sell high value crops uh, to really high end restaurants or high end grocery stores where people can afford it. We didn't want to go that route. That's not where we wanted to go. We wanted to make food available to you, everyday people, you can grow your own food in your home with an Eat and Grow Tower. We're looking for your support to do one of three things. You can pray for us, you can share this message, and not just, not just like, but actually share it. Click the share button and take this message and share it to your friends. Let them know what we're doing. Try to generate interest in the fact that we are literally trying to change the way people think about food and make it available to more people all year round, no matter the temperature, no matter the weather. And lastly, you can pledge. You can go to www.eatandgrowsystems.com forward slash regcf, and you can pledge a certain amount of money that you'll, you'll be putting in in the future 
to invest in Eden. It's not a handout. It's not a donation. It is an actual investment. Now, you don't have to do any money to do a pledge. You just go there, you just say how much you, you'd like to do in the future, and then what we'll do is we'll put you on a mailing list and you'll be contacted as these opportunities come available. As our crowdfund goes live, we will let you know, and then you just have to go there, you do your transaction, and boom, you now own a piece of Eden Grow Systems.